Good morning everyone, I am Usha. Today in this video, I am going to explain about edge detector circuits. Initially, let's see why we need these edge detector circuits. The edge detector component samples the connected signal and produces a pulse when the selected edge occurs. It might be either passage or negage or both passage and negage. The edge detector is used when the circuit needs to respond to a state change on a signal. Let's see the different types of edge detectors. First one, rising edge detector. And the next one, falling edge detector. And finally, either edge detector. This either edge detector means it can detect both positive edge and negative edge at the same time. The rising edge detector will detect when there is a state transition from 0 to 1. The idea behind a rising edge detector is to delay the original signal by one clock cycle and taking its inverse and performing the logical end with the original signal. If you could see the diagram here shown, I have my input signal and one clock cycle delay circuit. And for that, the output from that one clock cycle, I have given to the NOT gate. And the output from the NOT gate and the input signal are given to the inputs of the AND gate. That will detect the rising edge. We all know that the D flip flop will de delay the given signal by one clock cycle. Here in this circuit, my D flip flop triggers at positive edge of the clock and performs Q output and produces Q output with respect to the D input. And let's see how it works with the help of a waveform. Here I'm having my clock signal, and my D input signal, sorry, and my D input signal. And this stem signal is the output that I got from the D flip flop. It will delay the input signal by one clock cycle and my TAMP1 signal that I got from the NOT gate output. Now I am performing the logical AND operation between the D input and the TAMP1 signal. This is how I can detect the positive edge of the given input signal. At every positive edge, the output will become high for one clock second. And let's see the next kind. Falling edge detector. It will detect when there is a transition from 1 to 0. The idea behind a falling edge detector is to delay the original signal by one clock cycle and perform the logical end with the inverse of the original signal. We all know that D flip flop, as I said before, use it to delay the input signal by one clock cycle. And that signal I have given as an input to my and gate. And along with that, my input signal, I have taken the inverse and gave it to AND gate as an input. That will detect the falling edge. Let's see it with an example waveform. I have my clock signal and my D input signal. And this input is having negative edges as well. And TAMP signal is the output that I got from the D flip flop. It will delay the input signal by one clock cycle. And I have taken the inverse of the input signal and that is represented as negation of dm. And now I need to perform the logical AND operation between the TAMP signal and the output from the NOT gate. It will detect the negative edges. Whenever it detects the negative edge, the output will become high for one clock cycle. And finally, either edge detector. It will detect either positive edge and negative edge at the same time. The idea behind the either edge detector is to delay the original signal by one clock cycle and perform the logical XOR operation with the original signal. We all know the functionality of the XOR gate. Straight away, let's go to an example. I will explain this with an example wave. I have my clock signal. My D flip flop will act according to the clock. That means at every positive edge of the clock, it will produce the Q output with respect to the D input. And I have my D input like this. And my TAMP1 
sakė kad taiškas be pajėgos bandė veikti tik kad turtybių ginklų stebėjo dėl žaliavosios anglaus amžiaus laikui žaliavosios atsiūlo prisingų ginklų ginklų antiperkalbių ta nebuvo įgyti a dėl ko tai iš atvejų būs the artist became serious for one second jau įspręsti tik skaidrą prasidį sprogimą ir atvejų tai daug kitų sakant vis pavadė here it is detected one falling edge so the output will become high for next clock cycle like this it follows this is how the edge detector will works and different types of edge detectors thank you for listening thank you